Okay. Hello, how are you, third year? Are you fine? Well, I hope you are fine. Yes, well, today we have a new unit. Yes, bye bye, unit three. Bye bye, unit three. Hello, unit four. Yes, okay. Well, um, next class I will check the mistake of the videos. Yes, because you know I am recording in the morning for you to have your video in the afternoon. So you have time until um, 7 in the afternoon to hand in uh, the video. Okay, um, the advice for the visitor that is coming to Argentina. Yes, or to Formosa. The thing I have explained as class. Okay, well. So uh, the unit is about challenges, yes, bye-bye unit 3, hello unit 4, yes, okay. Well, what challenges do people face today? Do young people, yes, because uh, this is a question that is for you, yes. What are challenges? Yes, these are fears. What challenges? Yes. Uh, do you face today, yes, okay, uh, to become a good person, for example, yes, to fit in a group, for example, what challenges, yeah, this, this could be uh, one of the topics for the next video, yes, the challenges, the challenges young people face nowadays, yes, okay, um, to fit in a group, what else? Yes, to become a, an important person in the future, to have a good job, to have a good profession. Yes, think about the challenges, yes, you face every day, yes. Are um, uh, these challenges difficult for you? Yes, okay, or not? Yes, okay, well, um, I want you to have a look at the pictures I have prepared, yes, okay, this is another challenge, yes, okay, our people face, yes, to educate a son, yes, to educate a son, yes, and it's a big challenge, yes, because you don't uh, go to school for being uh, a father, for being a mother, a good father, a good mother, Yes, so it's a big challenge, yes, okay? And it's difficult sometimes because you feel depressed, uh, you feel tired if your daughter or son isn't going well at school, uh, if he or she is a bit uh, stressed or if he or she is um, suffering because of love, because he is uh, being... Uh, discriminated from a group, for example, or, you know, is it clear? Yes, yeah? so being uh, a father, being parent is a big challenge, yes, okay, good. And sometimes, you know, uh, your son or the, your daughter, your daughter, yes, are um, under uh, difficult circumstances in life, so it's uh, it's very depressing to see a son or a daughter in these conditions, yes? So I think it's a big, big, big challenge, yes? Okay? Um, you know, sometimes they are rebels, yes? Okay? No? Think about this picture. Remember when you describe a picture, you have to say at the top, at the bottom, on the right, on the left, in the middle, in the foreground, atrás de la frente, in the background, atrás. So, in the background I can see uh, a, a house. There is a door on the, in the background on the right. There are two adolescents. One of them, you remember when you describe pictures, you have to use the present continuous. Yes, she's holding a cell phone. Maybe they are about to take a selfie. Yes, okay. And you know, here on the... Um, here on, in the middle, there is a boy, he's uh, holding um, a cell phone too, yes, and he's talking to uh, a girl and a boy that are in front of him, yes, you know, this is another challenge when you go out, yes, 
you have to take into account all what you, your parents have said to you. Don't drink alcoholic drinks, yes. Behave, yes, okay. Don't smoke, yes, okay. So when you go out, when you go out, you are going to be alone with your friends. Mommy and daddy are not going to be there. So you have to think about all the values, all the things they have already taught you when you are in a group, yes, and behave. So that is a big challenge, yes, when you are adolescent. You, you have to think on the good things, yes, and on the bad things, yes, okay? So this is a, a big, big, big challenge for you, okay? Social media is a big challenge, yes, okay? Okay, uh, don't go. Yes, not to go, yes, not to go on a, on a page, yes, on a, on a page that is dangerous, yes, on a dangerous page, yes, okay, bullying, yes, okay, yes, okay, that's what this picture means, yes, okay, whenever you use cell phones, social media, yes, uh, maybe, some people can become a buller, yes, okay, and start bullying other people, yes, so those are challenges, yes, you face every day, yes, okay, you know, this is a challenge, yes, you know, when I was a child, that was, that was a challenge, yes, to go up, yes, to climb a tree, yes, and be there at the top of the tree, yes, okay, that is a challenge, so, we can finish with this challenge and think about the, the, the very first moment when you are very child, all the challenges and up to now, all the challenges that you have along your life, yes, okay? And every day we face different challenges. For example, the COVID, yes? We are facing um, the pandemia nowadays. So this is another challenge we have to face, yes? For example, continue with the classes. Uh, in my case, put everything, all the, the things again, yes? Uh, start organizing all the digital things, digital aspects of the teaching, yes? Teach the students, teach the parents, yes? In my case, my co-keeper, that is David, taught parents, taught me too, Yes, so that was a challenge for us, yes, to continue. But how we must continue in a serious way, doing the best thing for you, thinking about our students, yes, because we care about you, yes, okay? So that is a good picture to finish this part of the presentation of the unit. And I want you to go, well, whenever we uh, introduce... Um, a, a unit. I want you to talk in the first part. Yes, remember to pause the video, do the talking. Yes, and then go to the activities. Yes, because you, at least you have to have you have to you need five minutes to talk. Yes, as I did alone because I I do the the talking alone. Yes, this is the part that you have to listen to the teacher and then stop and start talking, describing the pictures I present, I introduce. Yes, talk about challenges, because whenever we have a new unit, we have a topic. Yes, okay? And it says, look at the picture, where is the man? Let's go to. Yes, now pause the video, but I will continue. Go to pages 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49 from the class book. And then you have to do, ask homework. Yes, ask homework. You have to do activity books, pages. 28, 29, 30. All right? Is it clear? Yes, this is from the activity book. So let's go. Um, I want you to, uh, don't cheat, please. Así, por favor, lo que te digo, porque si haces lo que te digo, vas a ser successful. Y si no, te vas a quedar en el camino. Exactamente en el camino. Porque ahora se va a notar la gente que sigue y la gente que se va a quedar en el camino. La gente que es constante, la gente que se compromete, va a seguir. Y la gente que no es constante, la gente que necesita estar todo el tiempo controlado, 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 acá no va a aguantar, ¿está? Se va a quedar en el camino. Espero que vos no te quedes en el camino, porque quiero que todos sigan, ¿sí? 
Nosotros seguimos, estamos siguiendo y hay gente que está siguiendo y está siguiendo muy bien porque se notan los resultados y hay otras personas que, recuerden que yo estoy evaluando la parte escrita y estoy evaluando la parte oral. Y en la parte oral te doy cuenta si te estás quedando o no te estás quedando, ¿sí? Si estás haciendo caso, lo que te estoy dando, los tips que te estoy dando. Si sos un buen eh, discípulo, vas a seguir. Y si no, bon voyage. Yes? Espero que no. Espero que no. Ok, bueno, number one. Uh, do you think this activity looks, looks exciting or dangerous? Would you like to do this? Well, so it is a man there. This is the part that you have to describe the picture. Uh, he's um, in a cave. Yes, um, he is um, on a wire. You know what is a wire? Un cable. Wireless. ¿Qué quiere decir wireless? Ok, pensate. Wireless, ok. Yeah, he's on a wire and he is um, descending, descending underground into a cave. And do you think it's nice or no? Or it's dangerous? For me, it's a dangerous but exciting, in a way, to say activity. Um, and of course, it's dangerous. Yes. So I want you to go to the listening. We are going to listen um, exercise two. Read it first. I'm going to play the listen and you are going to do the activity. All right? Is it clear? Good. There we are. Track 26. Unit 4 opener. Answer the question. My name's Vic and I live in the state of Tennessee. During the week, I work in a bank. I like my job, but most of the time I'm sitting at a desk. So... I need to get exercise after work and at the weekends. Most people go running or play sports, but I like caving. My colleagues think I'm a bit crazy because they say it's dangerous. It's true that sometimes you have to take a risk when you go caving, but I always go with other cavers and we look after each other. It's important to work as a team when you go down into a new cave because every cave gives you a different challenge. The most difficult cave was called Rumbling Falls Cave. You have to use a rope and climb down a hole that's about 20 meters into the ground. At the bottom, you are on your hands and knees for nearly a kilometer, so you need to be physically fit. Then, at the end, you come into the main part of the cave. It's an incredible place, like a huge room. Getting to Rumbling Falls Cave was probably my biggest achievement as a caver. Okay, so uh, what, what do you have to be to be a caver? Yes? Completely, uh, what you have to be? Uh, Totally well fit, yes. You have to be fit, yes. Uh, because if you if you are not fit, oh my God, it is dangerous. You must be sporty, fit, yes. Um, they are there are dangerous caves, yes. And uh, you have to, uh, you know, the, the verb go caving. Sabías de este verbo? Go caving, yes. And you know the people who go caving. Person, uh, a person who go caving is a caver. Yes, you know, caver, caver. Yes, okay, from cave. Entonces, atendés todas las cosas que salen de esa palabra. Yes, okay, good. Well, number one, uh, why do colleagues at work think he's a bit crazy? Why do cavers go in teams? They go in teams. And um, how do you get to blah, 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 to that, the cave? It was a rambling ca a cave. Paul Caves was one of the most difficult for him. Yes, okay, number one, because they say now is the time that you have, now is the time that you must stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay? <laughs> Van a repetir todo como loro después esta frase de la teacher, okay? Good. Um, well, stop the video, yes, don't cheat, yes, because you can't be like this. Oh, we did nothing today in the classes of teacher Ruth. She was talking and talking for 40, 45 minutes, but we didn't do anything. Yes, no. 
you have to stop the video, do the pages a la par de la uh, class, video class, okay? Because they say his hobby is dangerous, number two, because every uh, cave gives you a different challenge. You look after each other when you work as a team, yes? Three, you have to use a rope. What is a rope? Muy bien, una cuerda. Yes, to climb down a hole that is about 20 meters, 20 meters in the ground, yes? At the bottom, you are on your hands and knees for nearly a kilometer, yes? Oh, tiene todo su, su tema esto, yes? Okay, so let's go to uh, uh, number three. And I want you to take your highlighter, highlighter and highlight. Take a risk, challenge, achievement. What is achievement? What is the achievement? Logro, yes, logro. Have you got a big achievement in your life? Or you haven't had yet? Yes, okay. Okay, think about that. Uh, one of my big achievements uh, are my two daughters, yes. Okay, well, good. And I think for all your parents, it's the same. Yes, okay, and work too, yes, if you are doing well at work, if you feel lacked in your, in your work, if you feel you are, do, you are doing something for someone, yes, okay, or for somebody. All right, good. So I want you to go to exercise three. One, A, remember to pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. One, A. 2C, 3B. Okay, good. And then we're in exercise four. We have already talked because I do the talking at the beginning of the, the, uh, the unit. Yes, because uh, I intro the topic. Yes, I warm up the activity. But all the same, are you a person who takes risk? Or are you a person who are always very careful? Yes, okay, I think. In, a, in, in, in your life, maybe not yet, but I think you, you usually take, you have to take risks, yes, and there is a time in life, you can be a careful person, yes, but sometimes uh, you must take risks, yes, okay. What is a big achievement in your life so far? You know, what is so far at ahora? What is your big achievement? This is the question I have already asked before recently. What will be um, a big challenge for you? One of uh, mm, but you know, a challenge for me, and I think for you too, about this year is to finish the year healthy. Yes, to finish the year healthy, uh, to finish the year with your with your family in good conditions, with your fam with your healthy family. Yes. Okay, with your family healthy. Ahí va en realidad acentuado, yes. Finish the year um, healthy um, and finish the year with good results, yes. Because you know we are in May and I think we will continue a bit more this way, yes. But we are doing well. I think we are doing well. Tell me what you think. Let me know. What is your opinion? Yes, would be well. This could be a big challenge for you in the future, yes, to become a good in the near future to finish these years with good results and that the pandemic ends yes because a lot of people have that di have died up to now in all the world so i think that this could be um, an achievement in life yeah so far yes uh, not a challenge not an achievement what will be a big challenge for you this is the challenge number three four Think about your challenge because it's personal, okay? Is there a kind of risky activity you would like to try in the future? Uh, to go uh, again, yes, in a roller coaster because it feels so good that you want to go again and again and again. When David and I went to Disney, we went... Um, we go up the roller, the roller coaster and oh my god, it was very, very exciting, very exciting. I really recommend you, yes? But first, you feel like you are going to die, yes? And you feel um, your body is full of a lot of adrenaline, yes? But then you say, no, I will, I will not come back again. But then 
you come back again and again and again yeah so it is risky but i would like to go again but this time with my two daughters yes okay well i wanted to talk about these things yes remember i give you examples and then you give as we do in class yes first of all i talk i give examples yes i give ideas and then it's your turn to talk it to talk yes for talking Let's go to pages 46, 47, 48, and 49. Yes, I want you to put the date in all the pages as we, all, as we always do. Let's go to the reading, number one, two. I want you to highlight the charts. Highlight the charts. And I want you to highlight the words in the text. Mountaineer. Yes. Cycling coach female achievements and highlight the charts there on the two pages there is another chart but simple questions yes good remember i will go uh, i will say the answers but you have to pause the video do the activities and then listen to the answers <laughs> I imagine you are repeating this at home. That's why I'm laughing. Yeah? Okay. Well, because my daughter, as she sometimes is here next to me doing her homework, she repeats it many times. And I say, you, you are going, your students are going to get tired of you saying this once and again. But I know you. And sometimes you forget to post the video. Yes? Okay. Not everybody, but some. Sometimes um, some people. Yes? Okay. So this is the way of helping. Yes, number one. Yes, are you there? You have the names there. Sentences about Pasang, Mah, Mah, Marhan. Yes, okay, and both of them. Yes, it's they are very different, difficult names to pronounce. Yes, because they are not English. No, number one, Pasang one. Number two, Marian. Yes, two and five, both. Three, four, four, and six. Yes, okay. Remember to read the article at home. Yes, I, I will tell you the answers. Number two. What do you think about was Pasang's biggest challenge? Why is she famous? What was Marian's ambition? Yes. And what were her team's achievement? Because sometimes when you go in teams, uh, especially cycling as a team you have an achieve uh, an achievement yes but um as a individual yes okay you have other achievements yes and, and the same challenges yes okay good well um growing up without parents Training to be a mountaineer, climbing Everest, or helping earthquakes victims. Number two, she's famous for her voluntary work on mountaineering. Three, to be a cyclist. Four, they competed in international competitions and encouraged women in Afghanistan to take up cycling. You know, take up an activity. What's the meaning of take up an activity? To start an activity. So, when the pandemic finishes, will you take up the gym? I will, yes. I imagine you are doing exercises at home because I um, organize my timetable to do uh, at least one hour of exercising uh, with my two daughters, yes. And we do kind of Zumba, um, working out, yes, okay. It's very, in the terrace, of course, but it's very entertaining. Maybe you can do it in the living room, yes, okay your house good well i want you to go to uh page 47 yes we are going to listen to the d t ed yes okay remember these are the sounds for the past when you pronounce uh the verbs yes regular verbs okay remember in the past you have two kind of verbs which one are they regular and irregular yes okay Cada vez tenemos que mejorar en todos los errores que teníamos con tenses. 
Por eso van a ver que siempre los libros vuelven a tocar present simple, present continuous, past, but you have to get better. If you have mistakes in the past, now is the time for not having the same mistakes because, you know, repeated mistakes then in the future will become an error. And an error, oh my God, you can correct an error. It could be forever. Yeah, so whenever you have a mistake, you can correct a mistake. Yes, but if it becomes an error, oh my God. Yes, all right. There we are. Uh, exercise five, repetition. Are you there? Track 28, unit 4A. One. Lived. Lived. Two. Finished. Finished. Three. Rented. Rented. Four. Wanted. Studied. Studied. Five. Waited. Waited. Six. Looked. Looked. Seven. Decided. Decided. Eight. Climbed. Climbed. Yes, remember some, some of them sound with D, some of them sound with T, and some of them sound with ED. Estas eran todas las que siempre ponía la dicha Nicole, le poníamos en el salón con las reglitas para que te acuerdes. Okay, let's go to number six. Now is the, the time that you do the exercises, pause the video, and then listen to the answer. I continue. Okay? So let's go to exercise six. Number one was, number two studied, number three didn't become, number four laughed, number five got, number six didn't want, number seven went, number eight looked, took, sorry, took. Let's go to exercise seven. You have to read about the text about Reza again and answer the questions. One, in 1952, two, in Tehran, Iran. Three, photography, photography. Four, he got a job with a newspaper as a photographer. No, he wanted to go abroad. Six, in 1978. I was born in 1979. Yes, exercise uh, nine. Nine, I want you to do nine, ten, and eleven. Yes, okay, are you there? Good. So whenever you have uh, the questions, you know, which is the auxiliary of past simple? Did, well done. So I want you to uh, complete the questions there. Auxiliar, WH plus auxiliary plus WH, WH, WH plus auxiliary plus subject plus verb. Se trabó la teacher. Okay, good. Okay, where did you go out? Where did you go yesterday? Yeah. Where did you go yesterday? What time did you arrive home? When did you study mass? Yes, where did you go yesterday? Uh, um, what did you eat last night? Yes, remember, don't forget the auxiliary verb. This is very clear. Yes, okay. Where were you born? Ah, number nine, number nine. Okay, did you live? Where did you live? When did you climb? Okay. Um, four, where were? Four, where were you born? Five, when did you have? Five, when did you have your first international competition? Or when was? Acuérdate, tenemos was or where. ¿Cuándo fue o cuándo tuviste la primera eh, competición internacional? Did you win? Did you win the race? Okay, number 10. Number 10. Yes, you have to uh, write six questions. You can write all of them. Yes, to practice. Okay, where were you born? Now, pause the video, do the activities, listen to the answers then. Where did you grow up? When did you learn to ride a bike? When did you start studying English? When did you go holiday? Where did you go holiday last year? Did you go abroad? Did you go to university? What did... 
What was your first job? Acordate, cuando está el verbo to be, was aware. Ok? Good. So, um, I want you to go to exercise pages 49 and 48. 48 and 49. The last two pages. I want you to highlight qualities. Do you think, well, highlight this, put it talking. Yes, but they're talking. Past continuous, past simple, speaking. Yes, okay. Well, do you think two heads think more or think better than one head? Yes, do you think two heads Think better than one head? Yes or no? Do you understand the phrase? Yes? Okay. I think yes. In many cases it helps. Yes? Okay. Two heads. Yes. Two heads are better than one. Yes? Okay. Well, I want you to uh, look at the picture. Uh, have you ever, um, have you ever um, taken an impossible uh, decision? No, have you ever taken, uh, this is not a question, I was reading there. Have you ever taken uh, a bad decision? Yes or no? In life, think about it. Yes, okay. I don't remember if I have taken a bad decision. I don't know, maybe yes, but at this moment I, I don't remember. So, yes, so I want you to go there. Uh, what do you think the expression means? Yes, two heads are better than one head yes okay what do you think the expression mean do you have a similar expression in your language yes uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of working in teams with other people uh, what do you think makes a good team member yes uh, for being in a team or better to say uh, I think in a team there must be a leader but sometimes it's difficult to be a good leader. Yes, because you, you must have a lot of uh, qualities to be a good leader. Think about it. It's not only intelligence. Yes, you have to be hardworking. Think about adjectives. Hardworking. You have to be intelligent too. Intelligent. Uh, you have to be positive. Yes, uh, you have to be kind with all the group, but at the same time strict, because all the group must follow you. Yes, so being a leader is sometimes not very easy. Sometimes there are good leaders and bad leaders, yes, because you can lead your group or lead people in a bad way. And that is really serious. That is, oh my God. Yes, okay. Number one, uh, if two people work together, they have uh, better ideas than one. Well, this is uh, the, the idea, yes? Two heads are better than one. ¿Sí? Siempre los dos pensamos, ¿sí? Piensan mejor que uno. Yes, dos cabezas piensan mejor que uno. Yes, yes, it's okay. It is, uh, when you are in a team, it helps, yes? Because um, maybe you can think, uh, some solutions and the other can think uh, think about other solutions uh, yes and you have solutions for different problems yes and it's better yes okay number two do you have a similar expression yes we have sim similar yes okay this is one that is similar okay advantages different people are good at different things yes okay Esto lo bueno. when you are in a group working in teams Yes, you must be, uh, for example, if you go camping, yes, you are in it, you have to work, you are separated in teams. It's better than to go alone because in a group, one, for example, uh, knows how to cook, the other how to set up the fire, the other how to put up a tent, yes, a tent. So, advantages, yes, many people knowing how to do different things, yes, okay. Uh, in the job is the same because many people are uh, can be good at different skills too yeah some people think better by talking with other people and exchanging ideas yes the disadvantages can be easier to con uh, easier to concentrate to get on to get 
on with work, on your own, you waste time, yes. If you are alone, sometimes, no, 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 I will do it alone because I, let, I uh, lose less time, yes. So it's better for me to do it alone, yes. So you start doing it alone because, no, 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 when I am with a group, when I am in a team, I start talking, I can't stop, I, I, I lose concentration. So think about those advantages and disadvantages of working in a team, yes, okay. Um, is it clear? Okay, good. I'm making notes, yes. Okay, well, number four, um, what do you think makes a good team member? Well, you already know, we have already talked about this. Um, a leader, uh, a team member. Well, you have to know, um, you have to be patient. You have to be intelligent. You have to uh, know how positive. Yes, positive. You have to be positive. You have to be patient, um, kind to other people. Yes, okay. Um, this makes uh, a good team member. Yes, okay. Would you be a good team member or you are not good at working with teams? Yes, okay. Selfish. Yes, being selfish is not uh, a good thing for being in a team, yeah? Will be that. Okay, so I want you to think about, I know we are going to do this at the end of the class, yes, because it's better, yes, to relax. Okay, so number two, number four, and number five. Let's go to uh, experienced, repetition, friendly, hardworking, intelligent, kind, patient, Positive, positive, okay, good. So let's go to check, number two. One, friendly. Remember to pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Friendly, kind, patient, positive, hardworking, experienced, intelligent. Exercise three. Okay, which qualities in exercise two do these people have? Why? Dale, ¿está listo? Ok. Ah, no, porque esta la tengo preparada para el final. La dejo para el final. Yes? Ok. I leave it for the end. Ok. Bueno, eso fue un spoiler, eh? Let's go to the listening. Yes? Ok. Uh, right? What difficult deci difficult decisions difficult decisions do people have to make in life? Have you ever made a difficult decision? Sometimes in life, yes, we have to take uh, make dif make 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 a difficult decision. Yes, okay, porque siempre por ahí uno quiere poner do a difficult decision. No. Uh, it's a make a difficult decision. What decision do you have to make at work or for your studies? For example, okay, I will continue in this university. Uh, I will go to study that city, okay? So, to that city. So, I mean, you have to make a lot of uh, decisions during life, yes? Okay, sometimes uh, you have to leave a company to go to work to another company. You have good colleagues but uh, the salary is not good enough yes so you have to make a, a, a decision and sometimes it's difficult yes but you have to make it because uh, it's for your own good yes track 29 unit 4b in Okay, listen to the first part of a true story about two climbers uh, called Joe Simpson and Simon Yates. Now, uh, you have to put in order the, the um, pictures from A to F. In May 1985, Joe Simpson and Simon Yates climbed the Ciula Grande mountain in the Andes. Andes. It's a dangerous mountain, but Simpson and Yates were very experienced climbers and positive about the challenge. The sun was shining when they left their tents on the first day and everything went well. Three days later, they reached the top of the mountain. 
but they didn't stay there long. It was snowing, and the weather was getting worse. While they were going down the mountain, Simpson fell and broke his knee. Yates tied a rope between them and slowly lowered Simpson down the mountain with the rope. Some time later, when they were getting nearer to the bottom of the mountain, Simpson slipped and fell over a cliff. For an hour, Yates held the rope while his friend was hanging in the air. But the rope was getting too heavy, and it was pulling Yates off the mountain. Simon Yates had an impossible decision. Either he could hold the rope, but then they might both die, or he could cut the rope, and then they might both die, or pulling Yates off the mountain. Simon Yates had an impossible decision. So that was an impossible decision. She had an impossible, had to make an impossible decision. Or... Either he could hold the rope, but... Hold the rope? Then they might both die. Yeah. Or he could cut the rope and save himself. Or cut the rope. And one of them was going to be alive. Oh my God. Oh my God. So what do you think happened there at the end? Yes? Do you want to listen? Yes? Okay. That was an impossible decision at the end. What do you think he did? Yeah? Did he hold the rope? Hold the rope? Or cut the rope? Oh my God. I don't know. What uh, do you think would you have done? Hold the rope? Or cut the rope. Oh my God. Let's go. Let's know. Track 30. Unit 4B. Okay, let's put in order it first. I give you the answers. Yes, okay. 1B, 2E, 3C, 4D, 5A, yes, 6F. Yes, okay. You always, um, you always have to uh, make decisions in life, yes? For example, when you are at school, uh, what subjects you have to study, what course, yes, you will continue in, yes, at home, yes, uh, to marry, to get married or not, yes, when you are an adult, yes, uh, to, um, to have a family or not, Yes, to buy a car or to earn the money for buying a house. It's, it, it, life is full of uh, mm, decisions you have to make. Yes, okay. Well, I want you to listen to uh, the end of the story uh, and let's see what happened there. Yes, okay. May 1985. Joe Simpson and Simon Yates climbed the Ciula Grande mountain in the Andes. It's a dangerous mountain, but Simpson and Yates were very experienced climbers and positive about the challenge. The sun was shining when they left their tents on the first day, and everything went well. Three days later, they reached the top of the mountain, but they didn't stay there long. It was snowing, and the weather was getting worse. While they were going down the mountain, Simpson fell and broke his knee. Yates tied a rope between them and slowly lowered Simpson down the mountain with the rope. Some time later, when they were getting nearer to the bottom of the mountain, Simpson slipped and fell over a cliff. For an hour, Yates held the rope while his friend was hanging in the air. But the rope was... For one hour, he held. Hold, held. Acordate el pasado de fall. Sostuvo la... Held the rope. For one hour. But then it started to be... What? Rope. While his friend was hanging in the air. But the rope was getting too heavy. Too heavy. And it was pulling Yates off the mountain. Simon Yates 
had an impossible decision. Either he could hold the rope, but then they might both die, or he could cut the rope and save himself. At the last second, Yates cut the rope. The next day, Yates looked for his friend, but couldn't find him. Sadly, he decided he was dead. But amazingly, Simpson was still alive, and he started to crawl towards their camp. Three days later, Yates was sleeping in his tent and planned to go home the next morning. But at midnight, he suddenly woke up. Someone was shouting his name. He ran outside and looked everywhere. Finally, he found Simpson on the ground. He wasn't moving, but he was still breathing. Yates carried him to the tent and Simpson survived. Later, their story became famous as a book and a film. All right. Did you like the end of the story? Yes? Okay. Um, well, I really like the end of the story. Yes, because uh, both of them survived, but he cut the rope. He had to cut the, cut the rope to survive. Yes, but then the friend fell. Yes, but then when uh, he was sleeping in his tent, he listened to some shouts, yes, and he was there, his friend was there, he could survive, he could breathe, breathe, he couldn't move, yes, but they both survived and now the story is famous, okay, well, that's a good ending, okay, so I want you to, uh, number one, experience positive, yes, number two, it was snowing and the weather was getting worse, he cut the rope. Four, he thought he was dead. Five, he heard some shouting his name. Someone shouting his name. Someone wrote a book and then there was a film about the story. Yes, okay. Well, I want you to highlight past continuous. Number nine, do number nine. Yes. Okay, do you remember? Okay, this story is full of past continuous and past simple uh, um, examples, yes? When he was sleeping, he listened to a scream, yes? While they were, they were climbing the mountain, yes? They realized that, do you understand? Okay, remember we combined the past simple with the past continuous. You know, the continuous is always an activity that is in process, yes? And the past simple, in this case, interrupts this action. When I was talking on the phone, somebody knocked at the door. So I had to uh, stop this activity, okay? When I was ironing, yes, the light went out, yes, okay? Went off, Hold on. went off. Oh, the light was cut off. Yes, okay. Good. Well, um, shall we go to exercise nine, please? Remember to stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Nine and ten. Yes, okay. Um, we are going to highlight exercise 12 and write it right there talking. Okay, number nine. Was shining? Was snowy? When you, whenever uh, you have to set the scene, of a story you use the past continuous the day was um, it was snowing yes there was a woman talking in front of my house yes somebody was singing yes but my parents both weren't uh, working at home I remember that day yes I started to write my book the most famous book I have ever written, yes, you know, to set the scene, yes, you use past continuous, okay, so remember for your stories. Uh, number 10, was working, came, I don't know, I was in nine, was shining, was snowing, broke, was pulling, woke up and found. Exercise 10, was working, came, met, were leaving, 
weren't getting on, agreed, was, wasn't raining, didn't stop, was running, six, was he doing, phone. What were you doing when your mother arrived home last night? I was having dinner when my mother arrived. Uh, was he doing, phone, seven, did they visit, traveling? Did you answer, were watching? Yes, and I want you to go to exercise 12. Which of these events happened to you in the past? Yes, you have to write sentences and talk about this. Yes. Um, and say when the events happened. Broke a bone, for example. Broke a bone. Yes. Okay, I want you to think about this. Yes. Okay. I was running in the street when I broke a bone. Yes, you achieved something with a team, yes, or other people. First in love for the first time, yes, the first time where I fell in love was when I was 16 years old, I think, yes, okay. Uh, the first time when you got your job, yes, I got my job when I was 18 and a half years old, yes. Um, I had an accident when I was, it wasn't a very uh, dangerous thing, but I don't remember I had an accident, but I was, my father was driving, he was taking me to my classes of English and uh, a bus, we, we had to stop in the traffic lights, uh, very in front of Pharmacity, you know, uh, Moreno Street, the traffic lights there, Moreno Street and 25 de Mayo Avenue. My father was driving the car and uh, he was taking me to my classes of English. It was in the afternoon, six in the afternoon. The sun was shining, I remember, pay attention. The sun was shining. Uh, there were a lot of people walking in the streets. Uh, there were a lot of people driving their cars when suddenly a bus <laughs> crashed us. Yeah, you know what happened? That day, uh, I have an injured, uh, injured in my um, uh, scratches. Not injured. I have some scratches you know, from here in my leg, on, on my right leg, right leg. And you know, I arrived. Uh, I couldn't arrive um, to my classes of English. Yes, arrive at. Sorry, arrive at my classes of English. Yes. Okay um because of the accident yes okay so i want you to think about this uh the first time you had an argument with a close friend uh the time that you received really good news well i received many good news for example one i remember was when i was pregnant yes because we were looking for uh the first baby yes uh was late for an important meeting or no i was uh i wasn't late for any important meeting. I hope you know. Yes. Okay. Well, so I want you to um, shut the books now. Yes, and we're going to do the last activity of this class. Yes. Um, you will have the, the photo pizarra with um, all the pages. Yeah. Yes, with all the things there. And um, wait a minute. Yes, okay. And I want you to think about this now. Yes, if you have to describe a friend, yeah, think about these people. Do you have a, a piece of paper? Tens and pedazos of papel? Yeah, okay. So I want you to put like this, a friend. I want you to cut a paper. And I, I want you to put a friend there. I want another piece of paper with uh, a teacher. A teacher you know. Mom and dad. And I want you to put all the adjectives for these people. Think about this. 
yes, put all the adjectives, yes, okay, for example, uh, friendly, friendly, mm, hardworking, this is my best friend, hardworking, um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, uh, intelligent, No. Active. The one I like, of course. Uh, Mom. Think about this, yeah? Okay. Uh, mm. Yes, I'm thinking about this. Your dad, yes, and my dad. Uh... Okay, well, when you finish, you will have one, two, three, and four papers. Yes, four papers. Yes. And I want you to read, for example, I put my friend is friendly, a hardworking, intelligent. But are these all these adjectives are positive or negative? All of them are positive. A teacher, active, happy, friendly, and strict. Is a strict a positive or a negative adjective? Or can be both? Think about it. My mom, active, active, bossy, and hardworking. Which is, uh, this is positive, and which is a negative aspect there? Bossy, because sometimes being bossy is a very negative aspect. My dad, patient, kind, and funny, yeah? We tend to put, do you realize something? That we tend to write all positive adjectives, but we forget about the negative uh, aspects. So, one of the piece of homework for next class is think about negative uh, adjectives, yes, of these people. You can continue with this, yes. Acordate los papelitos que tenés que tener recortado y todos adjetivos en la parte de atrás. For example, in this paper, put the name of the person, mom, and here write all adjectives. Divide the paper in two. Yes, divide the paper in two. You will write the name here, and you will write positive and negative aspects here. Yes? And think about this. Then we're going to talk if you have more positive adjectives or more negative or both the same. Yes? Okay? Well, happy weekend for homework. You have 28, 29, 4, 5, and 6. A, 30 and 31. From page 30, only exercises 1 and 3. And productivity and have, have a nice weekend. See you. Have a nice weekend. See you next class and I hope you have enjoyed the class. Bye bye. See you next class.